What is up, y'all boys? It is Ride with G back with another video with the Sunset M340 coming at y'all today with another video. Today, I'm coming at y'all with another topic, and that is how to get financed, how to get the banks to approve you for an M340i like this one right here. So, this is probably my most asked question all throughout my YouTube comments, all throughout my DMs on TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. Oh, yo, I'm 18 years old. I got a 10K down payment. I'm gonna go cash out on M340. How did you do it? How did you get pre-approved? This, that, and the other. Yo, I got this much down payment. Do you think that the bank would let me do blah, blah, blah? It's one of my most asked questions. So today I wanna run through how you can get approved from a bank for an M340i. But before I start, I wanna give y'all a quick walk around cause I get new people almost every video I make. So this is my 2020 Sunset Metallic Orange M340i. We've done a few things to it. We got these super wheels on it. It's not the cleanest right now. We got these um, GTS tails. We got the diffuser, exhaust tips, uh, spoiler. It is stage two, tuned on 93 by, uh, on EcuTech by Visconti. We got a few cosmetic mods. It's probably pushing, it's just on 93. It's probably pushing about 460 wheels. Had it about a year, I'll probably make a video pretty soon my year of owning this car but yeah i just want to give y'all a quick walk around and shout out to all my new subs love y'all boys but yeah let's get straight into the video so let's start off with number one number one is going to be age of credit a lot of y'all boys on my channel are 18 to 24 which means y'all don't have a long established credit limit so if y'all think you're just gonna walk into the bank and they're gonna approve you for a 40 fifty thousand dollar m340 i'm sorry to tell you it's not that simple even if you got a big ass down payment it's not that simple and if they do they are going to destroy you on interest so your first step if you're 18 to 20 and you don't have a credit card you need to go get a credit card so you can establish your credit uh what kind of credit card you doesn't doesn't matter you can get a capital one or a city it doesn't matter you're gonna pay this card every single month and you're gonna avoid all the interest you are going to put little food gas little purchase on it and you're gonna pay it off at the end of the statement and you're gonna pay zero interest it, it's establishing your credit if you never had a credit card they'll probably give you a credit limit of three to five hundred dollars maybe a thousand don't use that put little gas food little expenses and then pay it off at the end of the month before any interest accrues on it so if you're 18 watching this go get a little credit card because by the time you're 22 23 you have a four or five year age of credit and that looks better to the banks than a one year history of credit or no history of credit if you have no history of credit going into the bank and buying one of these is going to be quite difficult so that's going to be number one go get a credit card establish your credit so it can start aging so you can be more trustworthy to the banks so let's get on to number two all right number two is going to be diversity of credit so if y'all don't know Credit can come in a lot of things. It can come in student loans, credit cards, auto loans, phone bills, internet bills. It's all different types of credit. And when the banks pull your score and they see, you know, how much debt you're carrying, this and that, they're going to see how much diversity of credit you have. And the more diverse your credit score is, the better. If you have only just done a, a firm or a Klarna payment, if that's your only history of credit and you have no phone bills or internet bills or previous auto loans or anything in your name that is credit, it makes you a little bit more um, untrustworthy to the banks. So I'm sure most of y'all have a phone bill, an internet bill, so y'all don't have to worry, but um, just diversifying your credit, having a lot of, you know, things that um, the banks can see is trustworthy and you have a line of credit um, going to makes you more trustworthy in getting a car like this. So that is going to be number two, diversify your credit, whether it's internet bills, phone bills, whatever. But um, let's go on to number three. That was a short little point. All right, on to number three. A lot of y'all are not going to want to hear this. But speaking of diversifying credit, my third tip is if you can, before you try to go into the bank and get an M340, uh, get a smaller loan. Get a smaller car. Go and get you a Honda Civic for eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000. When you're 18 years old, it'll let the banks know that you're trustworthy to take on an auto loan, pay it off in two, three years, maybe less. You can pay off $8,000 in probably two years if you're 18, just even with a little job. 
And y'all may be saying, whoa, I want an M340. I don't want a Honda Civic. Trust me, my first car was a Honda Crosstour. I paid like 10 bands for it and uh, I paid it off pretty quick in a few years. And doing that, when I went to go get this car, I already had a previous auto loan on my credit history and the banks knew I was more trustworthy to take on a loan. Whereas if you're 18 years old, zero credit history and you walk into a, an, uh, a BMW dealership and you say, I wanna finance $50,000, they're either going to laugh in your face and say, like, how? Or they're going to say, like, here's sign this line for 30% interest. And you don't want either of those. So, um, yeah, and my tip three is if you can, if you're down, get a smaller car. Get a Civic. Get a little something, you know, five to $10,000 you can pay off quick. And it gives you an auto loan on your credit history, diversifies your credit. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to be number three. All right, on to number four is going to be a down payment. So your down payment is really going to depend on how much uh, credit history you have, your age of credit, and all the things I've mentioned before. But things to keep in mind is depreciation. Uh, these cars, it's a BMW, it's a luxury vehicle. You know they depreciate. So if you buy it for, say you get an M340 for $40,000. I think that's reasonable in the market. A 20 or 21, you could easily find for thirty-eight dollars to $40,000, depending on where you're at and, you know, location and how many owners. But back to depreciation. So y'all know these cars depreciate. This car probably, my window sticker, this car pulled off the lot in 2020 or 2019 at like 60 some thousand dollars and i'll tell you i paid nowhere near that i paid about 20k less than that so as you can see in three years this car depreciated almost almost twenty thousand dollars so when you're going to put a down payment on one of these think if you go buy it for forty thousand in a few years it's uh it's worth 35,000 or 34,000. If you're if you didn't put it down any sort of down payment, if you wanted to trade the car in, you would be upside down on your loan and you would owe more on your loan than the car is worth. And you don't want to trade no car in that you're upside down cuz then you're going to have to roll it into your next loan and don't do that. Don't don't get started on that cuz that's like an endless cycle. I've known people that done that and just rolled over their loans and rolled over their loans and next thing you know they're fucking 100k in a 2015 camry don't do that um so yeah if you plan on keeping the long term and depreciation doesn't matter to you um you could put a smaller down payment but it is something to consider another thing to note is uh about every thousand dollars is twenty dollars off your payment but that is going to be number four down payment decide how much you need or want to put on the car based on depreciation do you plan to keep it long term things like that but uh yeah let's get on to number five so number five, let me move to the back of the car. I've been recording the, uh, damn, look at the, the sunset and the sunset. Dude, my car is so dirty right now, but y'all can't even tell in the camera, bro. My wheels are like, my wheels are like brown. These are supposed to be black. These shits are like gray. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, bro. It's too hot to be washing my car. I work, I work too much, but I'm gonna clean it this weekend. But uh, let's get on to number five. I forgot to mention, when, whenever I do videos, y'all know I like to find somewhere secluded that I can just be in nature and just like chill. So I'm at like this, this construction zone. But let's go on to number five. So this is not really about getting financed uh, for an M340. This is more about being smart. So number five is going to be make sure you can afford the car. Make sure this is right for you. Make sure you're not doing this for clout because you see an M340 on YouTube or Instagram. You don't want to do this shit for clout. Do it because you love cars and you're passionate about cars. You love the B58. Because doing it for clout, you're going to fall out of love in this with this car so quickly if you're doing it for clout. I do it because I'm passionate about cars. I've been building cars since I could drive. Make sure you can afford the car. And make sure you want the car. This is a big decision. This is a five-year loan on your hands potentially or four or three whatever you can afford make sure you can afford it make sure the dealer doesn't scam you as a as a young person especially when you walk into the dealership the dealer is going to try to hoe you they're gonna try to get you 20 plus percent interest they're gonna try to do everything they can to just make you pay 100k over time with this car make sure you're not paying crazy interest 
make sure you're not getting scammed by the dealer read the paperwork go over it thoroughly watch out for shady dealers especially your you new york boys your car may have an accident or who knows maybe a lemon title be careful bruh especially as a young person because they will try to finesse you in a dealer they just will bruh but yeah that's about all i got you know five little points so uh when you go to the dealer you do not get finessed you know what to look out for um your credit's right look at that color bruh I don't, I don't know how anyone can hate on Sunset Metallic. Like, a lot of people, I mean, not. I won't say a lot. A few people are like, dude, you should have got a gray or you should have got Portamile blue or white or black. But, like, come on, be real. Be be real. Just, just be real for a second. Like, come on now. This is the most unique M340 color, bro. And this car, when I tell you this car is dirty as hell right now, y'all don't even know this bitch so clean in your eyes, bro. But yeah, I don't want to yap on here too long. I have a bad habit of doing that, just yapping on here. Shout out, shout out my new shirt, LZMFG. I'm sure going to win that S15. I'm going I'm to pull up with the two orange motherfuckers. I don't even know if that car is orange. Is it orange? Or is it red? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all comment down below. But yeah, I don't want to yap too long on here. Um, Just a few tips when you go to the dealership don't get finessed get your credit right beforehand so you don't get finessed so you're not in a position to be finessed but yeah that's about all i got i hope y'all enjoyed the video please like and subscribe also before i go i also did a video on how to afford an m340i it was about like managing your money and budgeting and stuff like that so if you're interested in that i'll leave that in the description or somewhere up here leave me a comment um tell me if you're getting an M340, if you got an M340, what kind of car do you got? Uh, comment anything. Fuck with your boy. But uh, I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace.